Tawny Little, an earthquake update on the news at 11. So, we're kids. We're not allowed to look at naked women. <laughs> They're naked? <laughs> Close enough. Let's go in the closet. No one can see us there. Okay. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> what are you looking at? Thomas and Donnie have found themselves a girly magazine. <laughs> Wait, go back, go back. Oh, it's one thing for adolescent boys to sneak a peek, but you, a grown mirror. What? I'm just reading the articles. <laughs> oh, would you look at the articles on that one? <laughs> Thank you, Don. Yeah. Yeah, Eric, uh, I know it's none of my business, but we've been friends a long time now, and uh, there's something I have to ask you. Anything, man. Why do you wear a sword on your belt? <laughs> Leaves my hands free for the groceries. That's what I thought. Yeah. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> Thomas! Uh, hi, Dad. What are you two boys doing in there? Just reading a ma magazine. In the closet? Thomas, you should know better than that. The light in there is terrible. I don't think this is the kind of magazine that needs a lot of light. Donnie, I'm ashamed of you. Now, this is sexist and degrading to women. Now, where did you get it? In your sock drawer, Dad. <laughs> I, uh, just read the articles. <laughs> Fascinating essay on ethics and morality in politics today. <laughs> Short, but fascinating. Well, no, ho hold on there. I, uh, turn that one upside down. Shame on you, man. <laughs> what? You've got a wife. Yeah, but uh, Sally can't stand on her head. <laughs> I'm sure that Sally has many fine qualities. Yeah, well, so does Margaret Thatcher, but you wouldn't want to see her on a bearskin rug. <laughs> I mean, will you look at this one? To think some poor bear had to die for that picture. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I want to go. 
<laughs> Don! What? Oh, come on, Charmster. Don't you ever fantasize? What do you mean? You know, I mean, imagine yourself with some sexy woman. Oh, like, like Snow? No, 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 someone besides your wife. Well, that wouldn't be right, Don. And besides, Snow's the fairest in the land. Please. What? He's so self-righteous, sometimes I just want to smack him. He's not self-righteous. He's pure of thought. Oh, we'll see about that. Lillian, what are you up to? He's got nothing to worry about, as long as his thoughts are as pure as he claims. If he lusts in mind or thought, she will live and he'll be caught. You mean even if he thinks about another woman, she'll just appear? In living color. It's a good thing you weren't around when Jimmy Carter was president. <laughs> I just felt a tingle all over. And you say you never fantasize. <laughs> no, listen to this. Candy McConnell, Sagittarius. Turn-ons, vanilla ice cream, go-go dancing, and roller skating in the rain. Turn-offs, um, eggplant, sand in my bikini, and nuclear winter. <laughs> Sounds like a level-headed girl. You're hopeless. What? Nobody likes eggplant. Ah! Oh, it's Sally. Oh, hi, honey. Hi, you better come home. Little Donnie's locked himself in the closet, and he won't come out. Must have found the October issue. <laughs> What's that? Oh, uh, never mind. I'll take care of it. Well, see you later, Eric. Good luck. Yeah. Sally, when you were a kid, did you ever take gymnastics? No, why? We'll talk. <laughs> oh, what a day. Snow, honey, hi. Oh, moi. Moi? I'm sorry. It's just I've spent three months designing a new spring line, and some troll in France decides hemlines are up. This is the worst day of my life. Even worse than the day Lillian sent the woodsman to cut out your heart? Similar. <laughs> now I have to totally redesign everything. Well, honey, is there anything I can do? Hmm. Oh. You know what would be wonderful? I think I can guess. <laughs> Start dinner so I can get to work. Oh, sure. Well, what are we having? Uh, eggplant. <laughs> eggplant? Oh. It is a turn off. Told you so. <gasps> Hi, Eric. Who are you? I'm Candy McConnell. Sagittarius. My turn ons are vanilla ice cream. Go go dancing and roller, roller skating, skating in, in the rain. rain. How, how did you get here? On your fantasy. You wanted me. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You wanted me to do this. <laughs> and you say you don't fantasize. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I think you're right. His pants may be on fire. <laughs> so, now what have you got to say for yourself? Could you do the same thing for me? <laughs> I was thinking something along the lines of Whitney Houston. <laughs> Candy, please. I'm a married man. Maybe so, but you were thinking about kissing me. That, that's not true. Eric. Okay, maybe for a second. Not even a second, and then I didn't really mean it. Hi, Eric. Luther! It's not what it looks like. It looks like an eggplant. <laughs> Down! Okay, sorry. No, Luther, I wasn't talking to you. Well, who are you talking to? I'm the only one here. You, you are? Yeah, just you and me. Oh, uh, what do you see over there? The toaster, the sink. <laughs> right. Well, nice talking to you, Luther. Luther! <laughs> 
Here he comes. Five, four, three, two. Oh! Mary, what a surprise. Lillian, in case you've forgotten, I have a wife. Oh, I haven't forgotten. And I will get you that wedding present. What's it been now? A thousand and ten years. Oh, I am bad. What would Miss Manners say? That's not what I'm talking about, and you know it. How dare you bring another woman into this house? Who? Candy. Yes, Eric? <laughs> oh, she's lovely. Thank you. Wait a minute, Lillian, how come you can see her and Luther can't? Because I'm a witch and he's a dwarf. <laughs> Any other questions? No, now get rid of her. <laughs> I can't get rid of her. She's your fantasy. If you don't want her around, don't think about her. That's it? I just put her out of my mind and she's gone? If you can. Well, of course I can. I'm a prince. Yes, a big, strong prince. Uh, 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 c car crashes, train wrecks, jousting accidents. Uh, there, she's gone. Oh, very good. Now, whatever you do, don't think about her in a bikini. Huh. <laughs> Surf's up. Whoa, Mama! Oh. You've been reading that book all night. Well, you were busy working, and I wanted to keep my mind occupied. Well, honey, it's time to go to bed. Put the book away. No! No? Uh, uh, on December 3rd, the eastbound express out of St. Louis Are collided you with the... Are you going to read that all night? Uh, well, no, I have to, unless... Uh, honey, honey, how tired are you? I worked all day. I'm pretty tired. Oh. Oh, I'm wide awake. Snow, if you love me, kiss me now. Mm. Good. Good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm. Mom? Go away. Eric? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. There's monsters under my bed. Okay, son, I'll come kill them. No! Mommy has to. <laughs> I'm coming, sweetheart. No, 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 Snow, don't, don't, don't leave me alone. What? Eric, there's nothing under your bed. Wanna bet? <laughs> now, where's my book? Come and get it. <sighs> now, where was I? Chapter 5, Derailments. I think trains are sexy. Oh. Choo-choo! Oh, 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 oh. Eric, are you all right? Oh, oh, yes, uh, yes, of course I am. I'm just, uh, checking for dust bunnies, honey. <laughs> all clear. Well. well, I'm sure I'll sleep better knowing that. <sighs> Good night, honey. Uh. Good night, honey. Oh. oh, just go away. Eric, if you really wanted me to go away, I would. I don't know what I want. Well, I don't know what you want either, but I can't help feeling like something is coming between us. <laughs> Nothing goes. cheese Fritos corn chips and Cajun Spice Ruffles potato chips. Ooh. They'll love it first bite. Come on, Bob, get in. Come on, Jason. Where am I supposed to sit? Aren't you glad you used dial? I'm so hard to get into. Don't you wish everybody did? At least seven hours of this music. Seven hours? Duracell. 
last 30% longer. On Full House. You're smitten. I am not smitten. I know smitten. You are smart. And when the family's away, the butler will play. The big kahuna speaking. Mr. Belvedere. Then smile. You're on Candid VCR. It's all your mother's fault. With the Thorns. Cut! And something's wrong with this man. Do you know what it is? I'm not wearing my gun. Sledgehammer. It's a great night for comedy on ABC Friday. Top of the morning, L.A. It's a bright, sunshiny day. Make the mark of the market 74 degrees. Perfect for fun, fun, and more fun. <sighs> hey, Eric. Oh, you look like hell. <laughs> no wonder. I think I've been there. Oh, what is it, big guy? Oh, you, you can tell me. You remember yesterday when we were talking about... Fantasies? Yeah. You said you never had them. Well, I had my first one. I feel so guilty. <laughs> Why? It's perfectly normal. No, no, Don, you don't get it. I can actually see her and touch her, and she can touch me. Oh, no. It's her. Where? Where? It's just in my mind. Oh, oh please, go away. You write her for your imaginations. I've got to stop thinking about her. Uh, old Mother Hubbard. Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother. No, uh, Dr. Ruth. <laughs> hey, don't fight it, Eric. Go with it. Enjoy it. Look, nobody's gonna get hurt. Well, what, what about Snow? Let her get her own fantasy. <laughs> I read an article that said a rich fantasy life can actually strengthen a marriage. Really? Yeah. It's kept Sally and me going for 15 years. <laughs> oh, no. Don's convinced him that fantasies are okay. And Eric's gonna give in to candy, and who knows what's going to happen. If you get out of the way, we could all find out. Don't you have something better to watch? Didn't you just rent a movie? Yes, but it was Ishtar. <laughs> yeah, let's see what's going on downstairs. Oh. Don was right. Great. Right. And you don't mind doing this? I live for it, Eric. So be it. Grapes? You read my mind. That's incredible. Ah. You know what else would be really nice? A back rub. How'd you guess? Mm. Uh. <laughs> Having fun, Eric? Uh, what are you doing here? I live here. Well, you should announce yourself, ma'am. Okay. And now, direct from the Enchanted Force, the one, the only, the incomparable Luther. That's better. Next time, I'll wear bells. What do you want to do now, Eric? I don't know, Candy. What do you want to do? Whatever you want to do. Well, we've been doing what I want to do. Tell me, what is it you like to do? Let's see. Um, I like eating vanilla ice cream. I like go-go dancing. And I love roller, roller skating, skating in, in the rain. rain. Yeah, yeah, I think I read that somewhere. I know, Eric. Why don't we go roller skating in the rain right now, hmm? Oh, but it's, it's, it's not raining. <laughs> it's so hard to predict the weather. Lillian, do you know how many picnics you've just ruined? <laughs> Your convertible is out. Oh, you witch! <laughs> oh, boy, this is going to be fun. I should do this sort of thing more often. Why don't you, Eric? Oh, Snow's too busy to do silly things like this. Oh, I have all the time in the world for you. Great, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just hold on. Oh, so far, so good. <laughs> oh, whoa. oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> what on earth are you doing? Uh, Snow. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I, 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 was, uh, I was just going to go roller skating. Do you want to come? Just the two of us? Well, it's raining outside. So? It'll be romantic. <laughs> no, it'll be wet. Eric. You've been acting a little strange. 
strange lately. Is something on your mind? No. No one. I mean, nothing. Uh, nothing at all. I, I, I just wanted to go roller skating. Well, that's just silly. So? What's wrong with silly? Nothing. Go ahead. Get soaked. Whatever makes you happy. That's right, Eric. Whatever makes you happy. Let's roll. <laughs> oh. He went roller skating in the rain? Alone? Well, he did ask me. <laughs> of course he did. He knew you'd say no. Ooh, honey, I hate to alarm you, but... Eric may be seeing another woman. <laughs> Stop it, Sally. What makes you say that? <laughs> well, you said yourself he's been acting strange lately. I bet he's got four out of the eight signs. Of what? An affair, you know. Marriage interrupt us. <laughs> well, it's right here in Cosmo. How to tell if your prince is having an affair. <laughs> Come on, I'll give you the test. Okay. Does your man think you're spending more time with your career than with him? Well, he's mentioned it more than once. This week. Uh-huh. Has your man been acting guilty and suspicious? Yes, he acts as if I'm always walking in on him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when it's time for bed, does your man seem distant, disinterested, distracted? Ooh. Maybe Dom is having an affair, too. <laughs> Well, out of a possible hundred cheating points, Eric scores... 97. Oh. Oh. Well, that makes him... Uh, hot to trot. Oh. Are you sure you added right? Honey, the numbers don't lie. Face it. The man aced the test. It's not a question of whether there's another woman. It's how many. <laughs> Oh, this is working out splendidly. You know, you always say that, and it never does. Oh, but this time it'll be different. Eric has actually given himself to another woman. Lillian, you are despicable. You have planted the seeds of suspicion and mistrust from which only grows a forest of accusation, dissension, and marital discord. Kind of makes you feel like dancing, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. Oh. Wasn't that just the most fun you've ever had? No. <laughs> I fell in a puddle. I got splashed by a bus. Oh, snow was right. This is silly. Uh, I hate being wet. I love it. You do? Why? I look great wet. <laughs> yeah, well, you get a point. <laughs> Eric? What, what, what? Are you seeing another woman? Um... No? <laughs> well, sometimes. Sally was right. You are having an affair. No, 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 I'm not. I'm, I'm just seeing another woman. How could you? No, 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 Snow. Look, it's your mother. You're seeing my mother? <laughs> That's sick. No, 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 honey. No, it's your mother's fault. Oh, give me a little credit. <laughs> Mother for your philandering. No, I'm not philandering. I'm I'm fantasizing. You mean she's not real? That's right. You see, I just think of her and she appears. It's only a spell, so you see, I'm not doing anything wrong. Well, why are you even thinking about her? Oh, that. Uh, oh, I don't know, honey. You've been so busy working, and Don showed me this magazine, and poof, she appeared. Hey, it could happen to anybody. <laughs> Well, what does she look like? She's, well, kind of incredible. Eric, are you fantasizing right now? No. You're lying, aren't you? Yes. Well, what is it about 
car that appeals to you. You mean besides the slave girl outfit? <laughs> well, she does everything I ask. She exists only to please me. And I suppose you like that. Who wouldn't? For a little while, but to tell you the truth, there's something missing. Like what? Stay out of this. I'm talking to my wife. Yeah. No, honey, she's, she's over there now. Yeah. So she's just a picture in a magazine, one-dimensional, with, with no ideas or opinions. There's not a thought in her head that I didn't put there. Oh, honey, she's, she's nothing like you. She's... she's... gone. Really? Do you think she'll be back? I don't know. Would it help if uh, I wore the slave girl outfit? Couldn't hurt. <laughs> that this is working out splendidly. <laughs> 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 kids in bed? Mm-hmm. Mm. You think you're gonna have to get up and kill any monsters? <laughs> no, I made monster motels. The monsters check in, but they don't check out. <laughs> Snow, you really are my dream come true. Mm. And you're my knight in shining armor. Honey, do you ever fantasize? Oh, never. <laughs> well, maybe a little. <laughs> Later tonight on Nightline, Congress Outside the Law, the Ethics in Government Act, snared Lynn Notziger. But on Capitol Hill, the law does not apply. This is Joan London. And Charles Gibson. Tomorrow, live from Calgary, a preview of the Winter Olympics. We'll be talking to the athletes competing for this year's gold. And some winners from Olympics past. Tomorrow on Good Morning America.